Okay, hi everybody. Going in. And I'm uh, going to talk about a few things. So, come on, come follow me. I've got my videographer here helping me today. So, we just got back from a trip. And um, I posted some videos on YouTube and I had a friend of mine ask me um, why I don't have just the items that I need in the RV and for it to stay in the RV and I told her I says I do I have um, item RV item specific dishes and pots and pans and and utensils and even spices I don't bring any spices in here so they all stay here um, the only thing I take out of the RV is stuff that I want to clean, um, like the rugs, because I do have a washer-dryer combo, but these uh, items that I have to wash are kind of big, and of course the um, washer-dryer that I have in the house is a whole lot bigger, right? So it can hold more. So that's what I do. Um, like I said, we just got back from a trip, so I'm doing a few things, but I also want to talk about Another item that um, a lot of people have to do when they get their RV and they're wondering why do I have to do this? Well, it's a matter of comfort. So we're going to talk about mattresses. So come on over here. I don't have the main slide out now. I have the bedroom slide out now. So here I have um, RV specific pillows. They stay in here. I don't move them around, but I want to talk about this, so let me go ahead and, well, I can leave this here. Um, we bought this mattress at Mattress Insider, and they do a lot of RV mattresses. So this is the type of mattress that you can get from RV Insider, and this one has a radius corner, and they do that and normally you don't have to call them to place the order they um, you can place it online and just let them know the type of rv that you have and what you need as far as radius corners but the reason why i had to call them was because this item here it's a honeycomb stiff plastic underlayment for the mattress now it has a a fabric here so this stuff does not snag on the mattress and what this provides is breathing it allows the mattress to breathe because a lot of our viewers what they've been doing is they've been um, complaining about getting mold on the wood so if you call mattress insider and you say hey listen um, I have an RV I need a new mattress and um, I'm having this problem they will sell you this allows your mattress to breathe so you won't get that mold on the wood and ultimately underneath your mattress. Um, this mattress comes with a cover that you can remove and wash. So I really like it and it's not too firm and it's not too soft. It is perfect and this is a king size. And I also want to point out something else that a lot of people don't know. You see this edge right here? This was just um, plain raw wood on the corner. I bought this edge on Amazon and I installed it and it's the best thing. You don't scrape your feet with it, or excuse me, not your feet, your legs, which is uh, was something that um, from past RVs, we've had a lot of issues with scraping our, our legs with the raw wood that was exposed. So that's nice, I like that. Now, um, we went ahead and put um, like a gel cover, mattress um, topper, only because um, we're OCD. <laughs> now, I also want to point out something else. Do you see um, this part is raised, right? Well, um, I need, thank you, honey, I need help with this. <laughs> I need the top portion of my mattress raised so I got this um, this this is what the this is let me rephrase that that's what this is for 
It's a triangular cushion and you put it underneath the, the top part of your mattress and it raises your mattress up. Um, I have some issues with my sinuses and this allows um, my sinuses to drain properly at night and not get backed up. So I love that, that works. Now another issue um, that a lot of people have to deal with is I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to switch the switch for a second because I want to open up the my closet right there. Now a lot of people um, some RVs come <laughs> there he is there's my prop but he's my cameraman now. <laughs> so a lot of people um, don't have the luxury of having um, a vacuum cleaner already in the RV. So this is a little moved around because you know when you travel things move around. So what we've done here is we've installed a cordless vac. It's a Dyson and there's enough grab on this wood and what I don't like to do is I don't like to screw anything on the skin part of the RV that actually the opposite side is the outer exterior of the RV. I just don't like to do that. But we installed this. Here's the holder. Um, we put little uh, channels here to hold the, the cord down. And this fits perfectly. It charges. When I need it, I just grab it and use it. And what we did was we drilled a little hole in here and I actually found a plug <laughs> that I put in there to kind of hide the hole and then we took it to the other side because on the other side is the plug and here's a hole and I put that plug in there and it's plugged in and all is good with the world I have a vacuum cleaner when I need it charged up. Um, another thing I wanted to, to talk about, and a lot of people, um, for some reason, I don't understand why this wasn't the case, but in this slide out, they didn't have like a little rubber piece right here. And that's to, and if, let's get around this corner. If you see that edge right there, right there, the white edge, there is no rubber gasket. So when the slide out goes out, you actually have this part of the slide out hitting against that part. And I, I found it very unnerving. So I had this installed and it's to me, it's quieter and it's a better seal and I don't hear like a crunch sound. So all is good with the world. All is good with the world. Okay, so um, that is, uh, oh, and another thing, another thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, in another YouTube video, um, there were some YouTubers that talked about putting baby powder on these seals and that's to prevent them from sticking to the surface because if they stick they could come off so what you want to do is you want to put baby powder on there so it provides not only a good seal but a way for them to not stick on the edge that um, they come in contact with okay so that's about it um, thank you for watching subscribe to my youtube channel give me a like and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever we do more videos and this is rare that you get to see me because <laughs> normally i'm behind the camera okay bye everybody have a good one thank you for watching and ciao hi everybody just uh one final note um first of all before i forget because i forgot on the last video <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Forgotten Winter, who was my 
first subscriber when I started my YouTube channel. I want to give them um, many, many thanks because not only were they my first subscribers, but they actually gave me a shout out in one of their videos. I think it was the one before this last one. Um, and also they, they, they always encourage me, um, me being new to, to doing these videos because it's, it's basically been a learning curve for me um, to actually process these videos, upload these videos, uh, creative commons uh, things that I've had to deal with. So um, just a shout out to Forgotten Winter. They're doing fantastic. They just got a brand new 2020 Jayco Seneca. 37 RB, the same layout as mine. Um, theirs is a 2020, mine's a uh, 2019. So, big shout out to them. Um, I also uh, showed you uh, uh, what my mattress looks like. It's not the factory mac mattress. I actually ordered it at Mattress Insider. Um, they were, Forgotten Winter was asking me about that and I wanted to show that um, to them. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I just finished cleaning my toilets <laughs> and my sinks. I'm going to leave my shower for later on because uh, after uh, each trip, I always clean out um, the black tanks and the gray tanks and I drain my water. Um, I also take the filters out of my water filtration system because if you leave them in what happens is they get green and then you have to replace them so I drain the cylinders I take out the filters and I dry them out and next time when I put them back in I flush them um, so they're always uh, giving me fresh and clean water they're always filtering my water as they should that being said, uh, before we always go on another trip, I always sanitize the lines in the RV. Um, in your Jayco booklet, those of you that own a Jayco, there are instructions on how to sanitize your lines, and I always do that before each and every trip. Okay, now that being said, I'm all done cleaning my, my toilets, I'm, I cleaned my sink, I saved the shower in the kitchen. Uh, for after I sanitize the tanks or during the sanitization process because um, that actually gives me some a little bit of bleach in the lines to help me out with the cleaning and the disinfecting so what I wanted to show here is I wanted to bring in the slides and there's a method to this madness now before I bring in the slide I always look around are there anything in the way is there anything in the way that is going to cause an issue. So I go to both sides, make sure it's all clear because the bed slides out. Um, I also make sure that there's nothing on this side. Hey, everybody. And um, this is a good coffee maker. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay, so the coast is clear, so I'm gonna bring out in the slide. And here's my panel. This is what my panel looks like. So here's the, the slide. Slide two is the bedroom slide and retrieve, of course, is retrieve, extend is extend. So I'm gonna bring it in. And what you do is you hold your finger on there until it completely comes in. And then you hold it down a few seconds more just so the mechanism can complete its cycle and it sets in uh, straight so you don't have the slide coming in crooked. You don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how that goes. And also keep in mind you want to make sure that it comes in straight. So I always look at um, right in front of the mattress where it tucks under the closet area and I make sure that that's straight. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. Here it comes. Here it comes and it tucks right underneath the closet area there is a little nook in there and it's going to tuck right
right in there. And I'm hold, gonna hold it down for at least five seconds after it stops and it's done. And that's the way you should do it all the time. And if you noticed, it came in straight. If it comes in a little crooked, you're gonna have to reset it. And fortunately, there are YouTube videos on that. Um, when I first picked up my unit, it had to be reset and um, I know exactly where to look for it. It's actually at the front of the bed. You have to lift up the mattress and there's a cover on the front that you just slide out and the mechanism for the slide out is under there and there are instructions to reset it. I believe you have to hold two buttons down and then it'll reset it. So all is good with the world guys. Thank you for watching again. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and click on that bell so you can receive notices of new videos that I put out. Okay, everybody, talk to you soon. Bye.